So this is the sample and hold uh, modulator or modifier. And it takes in a signal that you have to modulate here, this knob width. And it samples this value in certain intervals. And you can change these intervals, of course, here down with the sample rate and with the time base drop down. So you can decide when you want to sample this input signal and how long you want to hold it. And then you can output it also here on um, this modulator with this modulator handle. And I'll show you in a minute how this works. Um, it's actually not that hard to get. So let's say you have here this sample and hold modulator and you want to sample, for instance, an LFO. You take this LFO here, make it a bit slower. And you want to modulate, for instance, here uh, the pitch. So what you have now is probably something like this. So it's not very useful uh, because you have a steady or a smooth transitioning from all the different values in here. So you use a sample and hold for this. So you modulate with the LFO, the input here. And then you see you get already here a stepped signal out of this because we sample this value every 16 notes. So we can say we want to sample this every quarter note and also hold this value for exactly one quarter note. So now you can take the signal out from the sample and hold and modulate here um, yeah, the pitch offset. Uh, maybe let's go here for 12 semitones. And then you get something like this. So you can create kind of a stepped signal and you can decide how often you want to switch to a different value um, in what kind of time frame. So you can use the sample and hold to sample a value from a random modulation source, sample this value and hold it for a selected amount of time and then output it here with this, um, yeah, with this modulator handle and modulate something else in your device. So it's a yeah very useful device sometimes if you have like an input signal or something like this and you want to have a quantized signal. So this uh, modulator itself here is also polyphonic. So you can switch this here on the left side in the inspector to a pair voice option. So you can uh, use maybe instead here of an LFO, you can use a random modulator and also output here maybe a smooth signal, modulate this. And when this random modulator is also polyphonic and you press multiple keys, you can see we have now a stepped, um, yeah, a stepped quantized signal here also for each voice differently. So it's polyphonic. That's, that's what you can do here with the per voice option. Um, and then you have the restart mode here. Of course, that's the same with the random. So free, it doesn't care for anything, though it doesn't restart at all. Then gate, so every time you press a key on the keyboard, this one gets restarted. And sync option is basically, again, that it uses the phase signal of your transport. So you have to press play, and then the first bar is always re-triggering here um, the sample and hold uh, modulator. So you, you restart basically in the sequence. Then you have here the time base. It's the same um, as in the random LFO. Um, you have hertz. Uh, kilohertz, which is audio rate, which is very nice sometimes to create uh, sounds with it. And bar, it's nice for sequencing stuff over time. And then you have your um, yeah, divisions of one bar, your half note, quarter note, eight note, and so on, dotted, triplet. Pitch is also nice, so you can change the sample rate to the, the, the note or the key you are pressing. So if you are pressing C3, you get the frequency of uh, 262 hertz, I think, um, of sample rate. And if you put this to hold, then of course nothing happens and you have to use here the restart mode of gate to actually sample something from the input signal. So it's kind of a manual sample and hold. So you have to press a key, then you sample the current value that's uh, input here uh, with this knob and then you output it to the uh, modulator out. So that's the sample and hold. Um, I hope this is clear what it does.